logged on. I, I could talk about my job all day long, but I'll keep it to 20, 25 minutes. And then I know we have some questions and answers at the end. I also want to mention that I am playing a couple of videos. Um, we have run through them, but if they're a little bit spotty, we'll have to stop them. It just depends on the traffic and so forth on the Zoom call. And so with that, um, Emily, Stacy, I think I'll get started. Sounds good. Oops, sorry. We were just running through it, so I didn't start it from the beginning. I apologize. One sec, let me get to the top. All right. So we are the brand partnerships team. Um, our team is sort of divided into two areas. So I run our retail and strategic partnerships. And then my co-director, Andrea Samber, who's also on the line, she runs our Blue Jeans Go Green denim recycling program. So just wanted to quickly mention the lean, but I will say mean team behind the brand partnerships team. Myself and Andrea, we co-direct the department, and then we have our assistant manager in the New York City office who supports us in all that we do. And we also have a consultant. She's based out um, in San Francisco on the West Coast. She actually used to be a full-time staff member at Cotton Incorporated and then has since become our consultant. So, um, you know, we're a staff of four and we're all really passionate about our jobs. Uh, I've been at Cotton for about 14 years now. So what we'd love to say at Cotton Incorporated is that, you know, we're here all the way from farm to fashion. So we do everything from environmental and agricultural research, fiber and product development, global supply chain marketing. And then we're sort of at the end here. So we are at the, we'd like to say we're at the consumer end sort of face to face. So we're, we fall within the consumer marketing division run by Kim Kitchings, who's on the call as well. So our company mission, I'm sure you all have heard this before, once or twice probably, but what we do is we conduct world, worldwide research and promotional activities to increase the demand for and profitability of cotton. And then specifically what we do at Brand Partnerships is we encourage consumers to shop for cotton and point of sale. So whether they're shopping online or in store, we want to make it easy for them to make the natural, versatile, and comfortable choice. And our partnerships with the retail and brand community help us to create new moments for them to help connect with their shoppers, drive sales of cotton products, and show people why cotton really is the fabric of our lives. So this is sort of something that we, it's a little bit of a chart here, and it's something that we keep in mind every time we are planning and devising a program. So we go through sort of these actions from awareness all the way through action. And what that means is at awareness, that's where we sort of prime the consumer. So we'll get some messaging in front of them, the seal of cotton. We'll start sort of getting them aware of what we're doing. We then engage them. So we engage them in a number of ways that I'll definitely go through in this presentation. But at the end of the day, we always are thinking about how do we make that cotton purchase easy for them, right? We don't wanna have them search and dig. We wanna make it easy for them to understand why they should purchase cotton. And at the end of the day, the action is making that, that purchase. That's what we want. We want to convert the sale. So that's what we're here to do. So you might wonder how exactly do we convert awareness into action? So we do this in a number of ways. First of all, we meet the consumers face-to-face. -face. We want them to experience cotton. So pre-pandemic, um, we did a lot of sort of in-person activities. And then through COVID, we did have to pivot a little bit and figure out how do we allow consumers to experience cotton in the virtual space. We create targeted program messaging and we always integrate the seal of cotton. The messages do differ by program. So depending on which retailer or brand we're working with, depending on what their objectives are and who their audience is, we will tailor the cotton message accordingly. There could be a retailer who really wants to focus on cotton being natural, or there could be another retailer who really wants to focus on the fact that, you know, cotton allows you to be stylish yet comfortable. 
So we partner with relevant and versatile retailers and brands. So anyone from sort of a national mass merchant to a specialty chain to even a boutique. We also something that's been really important that has grown quite significantly over the years is partnering with talent. So whether that be celebrities or influencers, we've really been able to partner with like-minded talent who allows us to expand our reach. You know, some of these guys have upwards of a couple of million, if not more followers. So it's really important that we teach them, educate them all about cotton and that they're able to go back to their audiences with those targeted messages. And then we always leverage digital and social media opportunities. Of course, the digital and social space has grown significantly. I mean, you just blink and there's something else going on in social media, really got to keep up with it. There's always something new in terms of how to shop through social media. So that's something that our team is really responsible for um, in terms of understanding how we can make that purchase journey convenient, even through social media. And then we work with our advertising team as well. So they will support us on sort of a more grand scale through traditional and digital advertising to help us promote our projects with our retail and brand partners. These are the type of the works we do. So we do anything from, let's say shoppable runway shows to e-commerce pr promotions, to pop-up shops, to in-store displays. We do a lot of different things. Um, and over the course of this presentation, you'll get a sort of taste of what we do um, at retail at point of sale. And we do have a lot to talk about at retail. Consumers love cotton, right? We say that 79% of consumers say that cotton is their favorite fiber to wear, which is significantly more than the 3% or 1% that we have recorded with our research team. Sorry, it seems to be stuck, one second. I think I'm gonna stop the share and restart. Just give me one second. I think we're frozen. Um, Got it. <laughs> so like I said, we have so much to talk about. Um, with our audiences regarding cotton. So like I was mentioning before, the messages are targeted based on who our audience is. So we might have a sustainable natural message. There could be a message about cotton being stylish and on trend. We love to talk about cotton being com comfortable and breathable. There's usually the combination that a retailer loves is to talk to their audience about cotton, not only being stylish and on trend, but you don't have to sacrifice comfort to be stylish and on trend. So that's something important that we hone in on. Um, of course, cotton is super versatile. So we love to talk about and hone in on the fact that cotton is just more than your basics. Of course, it is all those classic pieces that you love from your, your denim to your cotton t-shirts, but it's so much more. Also durability, that's also a big uh, targeted message that we focus on and that it's easy to care for. And I'm frozen again. Let's see. I don't need to tell you all this, but of course, cotton is the feel good fabric. And we know that the seal of cotton works at retail. In fact, we have just completed a new partnership this year um, with an amazing denim retailer called Good American, if you're familiar. And something they said is that they were actually surprised how much this seal resonated with their consumer to the point that they wanted to keep the seal up on their product. So that was just great feedback that we're getting, you know, as we push and continue to use the seal of cotton in all of our marketing materials. Next slide, please. So 90, you guys have might have seen this as well before, you know, 90% of consumers associate the, the seal of cotton with comfort and being soft and natural and all those great things. Um, also, consumers say that brands who use the seal might care more about quality than those who don't. 
94% of consumers say that the sale of cotton helps them identify cotton products. And that's a really big thing for us. Again, as we talk about making the consumer journey easy to shop cotton, we want them to see that, see that seal. We don't want them to have to dig for it. When they see that, that's an easy identifier. And then 85% of consumers describe cotton clothing as sustainable and trustworthy. Again, super important, especially as retailers and the industry at large are working on a more sustainable future. Next slide, please. So this is just an example of how we might identify cotton rich products at retail with the seal of cotton. So this is a program we did with Bed Bath & Beyond in 2018. And what we did is we curated, it was around 4,000 different styles of cotton products at Bed Bath & Beyond. We had them put onto a landing page. So this first um, image that you see here, that's our what we call the cotton shop. So you'll see the seal of cotton is bright front and center. You'll see that there's messaging, style for your home, comfort for you. We've got the fabric of our lives tagline. And then if you move over to the second image, you'll see that on all of the images of the items, we had the seal of cotton in the bottom right hand corner. And then if you were to click on that product to learn more about it or to add it to your cart, you would have once again, the seal of cotton again. So again, it's taking the seal of cotton and the consumer message through their journey. Next slide, please. So since 2014, we've worked with lots of retailers, around 100, if not more. And what I wanted to point out is, and I'm just pinpointing a few, um, Andrew, if you can click the first slide. So we work with mass merchants like Amazon. Please click again. We work with department stores like Saks Fifth Avenue, Bloomingdale's. We work with e-tailers, so someone like a Rula La who's strictly online or Revolve, and then specialty retail chains. So now I'd like to show a few idea, a few examples of our retail partnerships. This will sort of help really bring to life what we do. So our first relationship with Revolve was in 2019. And if you're not familiar with, the, with Revolve, they are a global e-tailer and they sell contemporary women's apparel and beauty products. They're a pretty large and massive undertaking. We were actually surprised the amount of volume they have in cotton. We had about 4,000 styles in our first year partnership with them. Next slide, please. So we worked with them for an eight week long program. That's something else I'd also like to sort of hone in on is that we do negotiate and push our partners to get cotton in front of their audience for a significant amount of time. Typically I would say the range is anywhere from four to eight weeks. Revolve has built their business on social media. They were sort of a pioneer in this, if you will. They have, just to put it in a little bit of context, they have a social media following on Instagram alone of 3.8 million. And I just want to show you the side-by-side -side comparison um, to Macy's 1.6 million, just to show you the depth and breadth. And what they've done is they've put a lot of different sort of platforms in place on the back end on how to review and analyze how their social media network is really helping them to push product and to sell product. Really been a large pioneer in this space. They also have sort of this internal social media network of influencers, so fashion and beauty influencers of about 5,000. So something else sort of very intelligent that they've done is instead of outsourcing their talent um, using different uh, talent agencies and whatnot, they've sort of brought these young people under their umbrella. So it's just been easier to work with them from a contract and that sort of uh, perspective. So the program components included an online curated shop. The price points range from about $30 to 300. We also did something really innovative. They've started what's called the Revolve Festival, which is similar to a Coachella out in Coachella Valley in California. And what's so unique about our project with them is we were able to bring the first shoppable pop-up shop to their festival. They see around six to 7,000 people attend these 
fest this festival. It's full of influential people. And we just thought what a really great way to get caught in front of this group and be able to convert sales. So we had about 16 influencers um, participating in this program with a following of about 7.5 million. Next slide, please. And just wanted to give you a couple of um, quick tidbits. We had over 10, 2,000 styles in the shot in the shop. We did see a sales increase to their benchmark. It was a positive trend. And the total program impressions were 99.5 million. So with that, I'd love Andrea to click to the next slide and play the video. Are you guys not hearing it? I don't hear it. Um, Andrea, if you want to uh, pause it real quick and then stop the share and reshare, there's a little button um, on the left, a little box you have to click when you share your screen that says share audio. Um, sorry, where is the share audio? So before so when, you, when you click, perfect, yeah, the you got partnership to. included a shop. Let me start over. There we go. Thank Were you able to hear that for just a quick second? Yes. Thank okay, you. perfect. And I assume, should I not mute while it's going on? Sorry for the technical question. Or it doesn't I don't think so. Okay, it doesn't matter. Yeah, I think so. The Cotton and Revolve partnership has been really incredible. The Revolve shopper really loves cotton because there's so much versatility in the fabric. So the cotton partnership included a shop on the site so you can buy denim pieces, your perfect white tee, go-to dresses, shorts, even crop tops. These are all items that our customers really love and continuously purchase from us. Being able to find the best designs in cotton is really, really important and I think cotton is able to provide that for us. So the spring and summer trends that is really resonating with our customer is a lot of tie-dye, like I'm wearing today, bright denim, as well as your go-to dress that you're gonna wear all summer long. That's gonna keep you super cool. Our customers love to travel, so it's really essential for her to have a natural fiber like cotton that she can pack with her and just look really cute all at the same time. So some of the amazing influencers that's been part of this whole cotton slash revolve partnership includes Amanda Stanton, Sophia Smith, Janelle, Bridget, Stephanie villa um, myself even so i just feel incredibly grateful for for us being able to work together and to really share this partnership that feels extremely successful for both parties con the fabric of our lives thank you andrea Great. And the next program, another program example I'd love to take you through is our Amazon and cotton project just from 2020. This was really, really a new, a unique year. As you guys know, we actually had an entirely different strategy and program plan for our Amazon project. And due to COVID, we had to re-strategize replan the entire project for a completely different time of year. We had to sort of convert anything we were thinking about doing in person to a virtual space. And I have to say, after you know working through this project, it was almost a little bit of a blessing in disguise that the project got moved to holiday. We hadn't planned for a holiday execution and it just felt really right. We you know, felt really good to do something that were, was making people happy at the holiday time cotton fitted it fit in perfectly well and so it just it ended up being more than we could have imagined so with that so next slide so this was a six-week program um this is our year three partnership with amazon and probably the largest our audience is mass as you know it's a general mass audience um, but we do focus on women 18 to 34 but we had shops an online shop for women's men's and then family, so we incorporated kids looks, we had home goods and gifts, so we really expanded the product categories for this project this year. We had a large social media experience with 27 influencers involved, a social following of 19 million nearly, 
there was a ton of shoppable video and image content. And we had different really interesting programming topics so that we did virtually instead of in person. We had finding your digital fit with a celebrity stylist. We did how do you coordinate your holiday dressing for the whole family and then taking your looks from New Year's Eve to New Year's Day. The message is really focused on, you know, cotton being versatile, good for any occasion, um, and good, good for any occasion at the holidays, and of course, comfort and all those great things. And something else I wanted to point out about influencers and who we share with our audience, if it's not only these sort of ads as you see here, but also in social media, is that we really look for a diverse group. We look for a diverse group in a number of ways, including um, uh, body and on all of that, that we take that into consideration so that we are representing the fabric of our lives. And with that, the next slide. So the, some of the top line program results are we had about 450 styles in the shop with about 98 brands. The price range um, was anywhere from $11.99 to $1.99. We did see a great positive trend from our project year before, and we had about 273 million program impressions from this project. And I also just wanted to point out on the left here, um, this ad was targeted for the home goods that we had on the site. So we had all of these really great creative messages to go out. So this one was deck the home with all things cotton. So our messages were very targeted to the categories that we were offering. And of course, to include all that holiday cheer. And with that, I'd love to show, um, and this is Andrea, I'm gonna actually try and show this video a quick sec. <laughs> and I'll have you stop sharing for a second, Andrea, if that's all right. Yep, I should have stopped sharing. Okay, and let me try this. So I grew up hearing that cotton is the fabric of our lives, and I've learned that that's true. This holiday season, I decorated our home with pieces from the Cotton Style House Holiday Edition. some of the pieces that I've chosen. I'm partnering with Cotton to give you some inspiration and idea. This one would be great for, because I'm doing a lot of Zoom holiday get-togethers. The label when I'm shopping and make sure that each item is 60% cotton or more. No matter what you're up to this holiday season, cotton will take you there and back. Okay, and with that, I just stopped the share. And Andrew, if you don't mind pulling back up the presentation. And we have one slip. Couple more slides after this and go to the next slide. It is not letting me. Okay, there we go. 
I wanted to show, and I know we're um, coming um, at the end of the sort of 25 minutes, but I wanted to just end with, you know, all of this is only possible with the work of all of our teams at Cotton Incorporated. Um, there's so much that goes into it. And I just wanted to give you an example of a program that's gonna be launching in May with Vera Bradley. So Vera Bradley um, was working with the global supply chain marketing on putting the seal of cotton on hang tags. So they've been working with them quite a bit on a special initiative for a new line that was made from um, virgin and recycled cotton. And it had a really big sustainability message to it. And so the global supply chain team called me and they were like, is there anything else we can do to help support this? So as we talked through it, we said, this is a really great opportunity to hone in on sustainability and the natural message of cotton. So we started working with the Vera Bradley team and we said, you know, we could promote um, this endeavor on all of our social media channels, on the fabricoverlives.com, we can do a blog post, we can do all those great, great things. And then, we'd like to offer something additional. We'd like to then work with our advertising team to work with our media buyer and planner to put together a social media plan to then extend the message even further to new audiences. We also pulled in our corporate communications team. So they've been a big part of, you know, connecting with the Vera Bradley public relations team and talking about what targeted messages can we help them with. So we pull messages from our sustainability team and from corporate communications, and we're handing them some really interesting targeted messages about cotton sustainability that they wouldn't have had otherwise. So next slide, please. So this product launch is coming in May. It's super happy. It's bright. It's 100% cotton solids. They've never done this before. They're introducing one print per month. There's about 110 styles in the collection. So the content includes, like I said before, recycled cotton. Love this sustainability story. There's celebrity talent involved. And of course, uh, cotton messaging and the seal of cotton. So I just want to explain one little way of how we all are able to work together at Cotton. And that doesn't even include all the other areas such as you know the legal team who helps us with our contracts and all that good stuff. And then the final slide. And then what's happening now? So we worked with this incredible influencer who has since become her own brand, Something Navy. She has 1.3 million followers on Instagram and she worked with Nordstrom a couple of years ago on special product launches and they've never had such a successful partnership with any brand before. So this has been really exciting that we've been talking to them for about a year and a half now, maybe a little bit longer because we saw this growth potential. So we finally partnered with them now that they have their own brand. So for the last year, they sell online. They sell at a store in New York City. Um, it's cotton rich contemporary pair for women and kids. The targeted message is everything from style to comfort. And there's a very large sustainability message going out about cotton sustainability specifically and our Blue Jeans Go Green program that's gonna be launching for Earth Day this week. I mean, this is just a quick picture. This was actually from last night. This was at their store in Soho, New York City. And we did an Instagram live. So the owner, she's sitting there, she had some of her staff members try on some of the looks from the cotton shop. And it was a live, uh, a live functionality that we did on Instagram and people were typing in questions. Oh, where can I get that? What's the price of it? Is it soft? I want to see the print. So again, just looking at really unique ways to help sell cotton. And with that, that concludes my presentation. I hope you all enjoyed.